Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Insurance types, coverage, and how to choose the right policy. So make sure to watch the full video. Homeowner's insurance. Unlike car insurance, no state law says you must have homeowner's insurance. However, if you are looking for a home loan, your lender will often require insurance to protect their interest in your property. That way, if your home is damaged or destroyed, you'll have money to rebuild it without dropping your mortgage. Even if there is no mortgage on your home and you pay directly, if your home is damaged or demolished and you do not have home insurance, you will still have to pay for the repair or replacement. Buying home insurance is a risky move. Home insurance offers different types of insurance. Home insurance Home insurance protects your home's structure from roof to floor against unexpected events such as fire, wind, theft, or vandalism. This type of insurance also covers the cost of repairing or replacing structures attached to your property, such as a garage or deck. The cost of your home insurance should equal the cost of building your home. Private insurance This type of insurance protects your items, such as furniture, appliances, and clothing. Problems include theft, fire, and explosion. The exemption is usually set at 50 to 70% of the home insurance premium. If you need more coverage, you can usually buy more. Another home property. The structure of your property, such as property or fence, is covered by this type of insurance. Liability insurance. Liability insurance covers you for injuries or damage to others. Also, liability home insurance covers your attorney's fees if someone sues you. So if a guest comes to your door, liability insurance may cover his medical expenses and your attorney's fees. The amount of your obligation must be equal to the amount you owe or can be claimed by you in the lawsuit. Additional living expenses. If you are away from home for a while due to rights issues, additional living expenses will cover additional costs such as meals and accommodation. Renter's insurance. Not having a home doesn't mean you don't need insurance. Renter's insurance helps you replace things like electronics, furniture, and clothing in case they are stolen or damaged. Issues include fires, storms, explosions, and more. If your library catches fire, you are obligated to renew everything if you do not have insurance. Although the homeowner's insurance will cover the damage to the rental property, it will not cover the rent. In some cases, landlords may require proof of rent payment. Personal Property Insurance this insurance covers you if your belongings, furniture, clothes, chairs, etc. are stolen or damaged due to fire. Liability Insurance If you are responsible for injury to others or property damage, this insurance will cover the costs involved. For example, if someone falls into your apartment because of your negligence, liability insurance may cover their medical expenses. Add living expenses If your rental home is damaged or destroyed or becomes uninhabitable due to problems arising from your policy, this coverage covers the additional cost of not staying in your home. Umbrella insurance car, home, and renters with liability insurance that protects you and your family's assets from lawsuits filed against you. But all policies have limits of liability. If you have too many assets, your landlord, renter, or car insurance may not be enough if you lose an expensive lawsuit. Umbrella insurance provides additional liability if anything happens and you are responsible. For example, let's say someone sues you for $500,000 in medical bills after you fall on the pavement and hurt your back. If your home liability is only $300,000, you'll have to pay an additional $200,000. Umbrella insurance will cover this additional cost. Life insurance. If someone is financially dependent on you, it's important to find life insurance that fits your situation. According to LIMRA, a business research firm, 44% of U.S. households will experience financial distress within six months if their main source of income dies, while 28% will only experience one month of financial distress. Life insurance is a way to replace your income in the event of expected death. Life insurance policies are generally divided into two categories, term life insurance and indefinite life insurance. Term life insurance Term life insurance lets you lock in value for as long as 10, 15, 20, or 30 years. During this time, your payment is fixed. After the timer expires, you can usually renew the policy every year, but you'll pay a higher premium each time. If you want to cover certain expenses, such as college tuition or debts, life insurance may be for you. Term life insurance is usually the cheapest type of life insurance. Permanent life insurance. Permanent life insurance provides permanent protection. Whole life insurance includes a cash value plus a death benefit. If the money price rises, you can access the money by withdrawal or withdrawal. 
If you decide to cancel the policy, you can get the cash value of the policy after deducting the premium. If you want to generate cash flow to supplement your retirement savings or provide death benefits to your long-term financial dependents, consider permanent life insurance. Whole life insurance is more expensive than term life insurance. Types of permanent life insurance include whole life insurance, universal life insurance, variable life insurance, and funeral life insurance. Health insurance. According to the American Public Health Association, healthcare costs are one of the leading causes of financial poverty in the United States. Even if you're young and healthy, a three-day hospital stay can cost around $30,000, according to healthcare.gov. If you don't have insurance, this can be devastating to your finances. You can usually get coverage from your employer. If your employer does not provide health insurance or you are unemployed, you can purchase health insurance from the federal health insurance market. Federal health insurance plans on the market may provide subsidies if you meet the income and eligibility requirements. Alternatively, you can contact your health insurance company directly or purchase health insurance from a health insurance agent or broker. If monthly premiums seem high, consider the cost of high-exempt health plans. With this type of coverage, you have to pay a higher exemption before the program starts, but this lowers your monthly health care costs. Additionally, you can combine high-deductible health insurance coverage with a health account to save tax-free money to pay for future medical expenses. In general, you can only get health insurance during the open registration period determined by the health insurance company that sold health insurance. Open enrollment for marketplace programs usually begins on November 12, January 1 to December 15, but some states have extended deadlines. Exceptions are allowed during the open enrollment period if you have recently had a life-changing event, such as marriage or having a child. Disability Insurance You may think you need disability insurance only if you have a dangerous job. However, most barriers do not affect employment. According to the Disability Awareness Council, arthritis, cancer, diabetes, and back pain are the leading causes of disability. Therefore, it is wise to consider disability insurance as part of your financial plan. Disability insurance supplements a part of your income and prevents you from working if you are sick or disabled. It usually transfers between 40% and 70% of your basic income, and there is usually a waiting period before you start the program and there is a limit on how much you can pay each month. Long-term care insurance. According to the Ministry of Health and Human Services, people over the age of 65 are 70% likely to need long-term care at some point. Whether it's domestic help to assist with daily activities or extending a nursing home stay, most seniors will need assistance at some point in their lives. And long-term care doesn't come cheap. According to Genworth, which sells life and long-term insurance, the average cost of living in a nursing home is $9,000 per month. Long-term care LTC insurance can help you pay for things like home care, nursing care, or nursing home living. The best time to buy term insurance is in your 50s or 60s. Buying insurance at this age is usually the best time to buy. As you get older, the cost of long-term care increases. Be sure to check this item thoroughly before purchasing. In recent years, insurers have been surprised by the rise in prices that have made many people unable to pay for insurance after purchase. Congressional Research Service provides an overview of long-term insurance. If you take out life insurance, you can add term life insurance to your policy as life insurance or you can purchase a policy that includes life insurance and term life insurance. How to choose a policy. Choosing the right policy or financial product is important for your financial security. Assess your needs, explore available options, and seek professional advice. Consider financial security, terms and fees. You are looking for easy, transparent, and dedicated customer service. Take the time to make decisions that meet your goals and provide the best protection and benefits. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.